Good evening, good afternoon, citizen, cit citizens of Stewart. Welcome. We are here today to thank Robin Polson and the VFW 10 132 Honor Guard and Bagpipers for leading everyone to our bandstand. Thank you. Also thanking the Martin County High School ROTC Color Guard under the direction of Commander DeLeon. We are joined today by Commissioner Campenny, McDonald, and Clark as they represent the City of Stewart. thank Almighty God, if you bow your heads, we thank Almighty God for this day of remembrance, the people who gave the ultimate sacrifice in all of the branches of the armed forces. This is their day, and no civil servant or public official should take away from the foremost remembrance of what they gave. Thank you. But I want you to take a minute, if you can, and look at this bandstand. This is a building, of, technically I believe it's a structure, but it, it, it was designed by Peter Jefferson many years ago. It's merely a, a shelter. Today we're here to give it a heart and a heartbeat by honoring someone who also died a result of wounds sustained in battle. Although Mr. Ferguson did not come to Stewart until 1937, made a great impact by leading the Martin County High School Tigers to their first ever football victory and rival against the football team in Fort Pierce. We are proud that a member of a small community as Stewart participated in the Normandy Beach invasion. Years ago a community memorial service was held in First Baptist after he succumbed to the wounds of his meritorious service. We thank the family, Fergie Ferguson, for sharing their memories and legacy with the city of Stewart in the memorial that we will dedicate here for that service. I'd like to, as a city representative of the city commission, also like to thank all the work and effort that was done by Alice Luckhart and Stuart Heritage to put this event forward. Alice. Thank you, Vice Mayor and everyone who attends tonight. This is a proud moment. I do want to take you back a moment or two in history. I want you to think back. It's England, it's wartime. It's 1943, and the American troops are coming to England to train for what would eventually be known as D-Day. And Fergie is part of that group training. He arrives in December, he's marching with the other soldiers, they're going down the streets of England. He sees that the English are upset, they've been at war for years. And what does he say to help calm the situation? My gosh, he says, 
Englishman, have no fear. Fergie Ferguson is here. So in other words, he had it under control. So, and that's the way was his philosophy his whole life. Whether it was on the football field, or in sports at the University of Florida, or in the battlefield. He took charge and did what needed to be done. Well, in a way, that's what I felt like. I'm not related to the Ferguson family in any form or fashion. I just love the history, any history, whether it's of Stewart, Martin County, Florida, the United States. And when I see something that needs to be done, I'm a little bit like Fergie and I say, let's see if we can get this done. And so having done the study and, and researched about Fergie, finding that there were other monuments to him and, and trophies in other parts of the state of Florida, but not in Stewart or Martin County, there's a wrong. So that's where I made it my mission, talking to who needed to be talked to, did the writing, did what needed to be done to eventually have this bandstand then named in Fergie's honor. And there is a special bronze plaque explaining why Fergie should be remembered. So that is why we're all here today to make this special effort to thank not only the efforts and the work that Fergie Ferguson did as a sports person and as a war hero. We are here in his memory and will forever remember him because of this bandstand. Now next I'd like to introduce Bob D'Angelo who will speak to you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Vice Mayor, uh, members of the Stewart City Commission are here, and of course all of you who came out today. Um, it's a big day for the Ferguson family, but of course it's also a big day for anybody who had a relative, family member, or friend that gave the ultimate sacrifice or even fought, and fought with distinction during our many wars, and I think we should keep that in mind. Forrest Ferguson was definitely a very special individual, and did very well in, in athletics, of course, and, and Stewart High School led them to their first uh, conference title. The University of Florida was their second ever All-American. In the Army, he distinguished himself with the Distinguished Service Cross for his heroics at Normandy, helping to blow a gap in the uh, draw at Normandy to enable troops to go up the draw and overrun the Germans at, at Omaha Beach. He was injured very severely that day, but his work his courage was not overlooked. And I think that uh, this bandstand and this plaque is a tribute to him and his relatives that are here today, Deborah and Kay. And uh, I think it's really a fitting tribute to Fergie. And he had no fear. And I think, to be honest, he might be a little bit embarrassed with all this today. But then again, he might be smiling, saying, Yeah, maybe I deserve it. <laughs> so now I'd like to turn it over to one of the Ferguson's sisters. I'm not sure which, who goes first, Deborah or Kay? Hello and thank you. Um, we're very proud to be here. Um, got quite emotional during the parade. It's such joy to ride down the street and see so many in red, white, and blue. Meet all those veterans from all the wars. I was fortunate enough today to meet two and I got pictures with two world those guys left around. Great supporter of the honor flights. But um, we were fortunate enough to be able to be here today and I want to thank the city of Stewart, uh, the commissioners, Alice Lockhart, Bob D'Angelo for all their hard work in bringing us together and just means so much to us. It's not too late. Anything that ever occurs is on time as far as I'm concerned. But memorial Fergie Ferguson, we known to me as Uncle Fergie. Um, I was only about, mm, I think I was about three and a half years old the day of that funeral up at All Saints Cemetery in uh, Jensen. Of course, being Rowdy Ferguson, my mother had to contain us in the car so we weren't actually graveside. But I'll never forget the sound of the guns. I don't remember much at age three and a half, but I'll never forget the guns, the salute. That's just something that stayed with me on the line. But um, we're overwhelmed. I mean, I guess words really can't describe what I'm feeling today. But I'd like to thank each and every one of you for coming out, honoring one of the greatest generation, um, and leaving a mark here in Stewart um, for Uncle Forrest. We're just so appreciative. Thank you so much.
first off, I would like to thank everyone for being here today. And just so heartfelt for all the veterans, past and present. I just have a special place in my heart for them. My sister kind of pretty much covered a lot of the things I was going to say, but I want to thank the City of Sturt, Alice Luckhart, Bob D'Angelo for a lot of hard work making this dedication possible, making it happen, making Fergie a part, an everlasting part of Martin County landscape. I would also like to thank the mayor here for his outstanding work and for each one of y'all being here today. Um, as we were riding in the parade up Ocean Avenue, it just warmed my heart to see a lot of the younger kids with the American flags waving them. Um, it just means so much to be a part, to be a, an American, and to be here today. Um, I know that Fergie is probably looking down, nodding his approval with a smile on his face, as well as the other Ferguson family, his mother Frances, my Aunt Aurora, my dad. And it's just, uh, just such an honor. And once again, thank y'all very much. Wonderful remembrance. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. And if you can't get a copy of the book here, please get one. I'm sure it'll be in storage area.